Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. This is me Faraz Kurban Rajpar and in this video lecture I am going to discuss with you about the structure activity relationship. This is the backbone of medicinal chemistry. So in this topic you will study the effect of various functional group on the synthesis of different type of drug molecule. So at the end of this lecture you may find the quiz for you have to attempt that quiz in your comment section for your self evaluation. So these are the outline for this lecture. In this lecture, you will be able to learn about the structure activity relationship, how the SAR can be determined, different techniques like changing size and shape of a drug molecule, degree of unsaturation present in a drug molecule, introduction of new substituent or new functional group, and the effect of various functional group on the different biological activities of a drug molecule. Introduction to the structure activity relationship. The drug discovery process involves the discovery of the certain type of new drug molecule that can be used in the synthesis of the new drug candidate. The scientists that are involved in the drug discovery process are the medicinal chemist. Medicinal chemist must have the knowledge about the different fields and the different parameters of the drug. Like he must know the mechanism of action of the previously known drug. He must have the idea about the chemical structure of the drug that which type of functional group is present. And he must also have the knowledge about the different type of functional group that can be modified for the optimum activity of the drug. And beside this, he must have the knowledge about the different physicochemical properties of the drug because these physicochemical properties will have ultimate net effect on the drug biological activities. The physicochemical properties of a drug molecule. Physicochemical properties of a drug molecule like acid base properties, water solubility, partition coefficient, crystal line structure, and stereochemistry all are being affected by the type of functional group that are present in a drug molecule or its derivative. So, if we are going to modify the functional group for the synthesis of a new drug candidate or synthesis of new lead molecule then its physicochemical properties will be affected which in turn will affect the pharmacokinetic properties of a drug molecule that are the absorption distribution metabolism and excretion so for the synthesis of a new drug molecule the medicinal chemist must modify a lead molecule with the certain functional group which may optimize the physical chemical properties as well so in order to achieve the optimum pharmacokinetic so SAR structure activity relationship is basically the relationship between the chemical structure of a drug molecule and its biological activity means the type of functional group the type of chemical rings structure and other type of atom that are present in the chemical structure of a drug they have the direct relation or effect with the biological activity that is being produced by the particular drug molecule. So as I saw, SAR is showing the relationship between the chemical structure and the biological activity of a drug molecule. So on the basis of this fact, we can predict the biological effect of newly synthesized chemical compound by comparing its structure with already reported compound. So we can conclude that the newly synthesized compound can have the biological effect similar to the already reported drug which have or whose chemical structure is similar to that particular new derivative compound or the new lead molecule. Pharmacophore. Pharmacophore are basically the regions or functional group in the chemical structure of a lead molecule that are responsible for the activity of that particular drug molecule. And that activity can be beneficial or what we say biologically 
active or affective or it can be also unwanted that are these certain side effects or certain toxic effect ADR that are being reported by the particular drug molecule. So the information, these information like the biological activity or the certain side effects that are basically based on the functional group and its chemical structure they can be used for the synthesis of the new drug molecule in the drug discovery process. The SAR of any drug molecule can be determined by the different techniques by making certain modification in the chemical structure of a lead molecule which will lead to the synthesis of the different type of new derivative or analog molecule. So these analog molecule will then be assessed for their biological activity. So what type of changes can be made in their chemical structure like uh, we can modify the chemical structure by changing its carbon skeleton by changing its size and shape of carbon skeleton by increasing or decreasing the number of carbon atom beside this we can also make changes by the degree of substitution means the SAR also dependent on which type of functional group is being substituted and at which site it is being substituted the third is the stereochemistry of lead molecule. Stereochemistry is what type of isomer can be predicted from that type of particular drug molecule. So all these have the net effect on the SAR. Then another type of substitution is uh, like the degree of unsaturation that is present in our drug molecule. We can modify the size and shape of drug molecule by changing the say carbon number of a drug molecule. How can we change the carbon number by adding certain type of new alkyl functional group that is the methyl functional group or we can remove the already present methyl or alkyl functional group in the side chain or in the ring system that are present in the drug molecule. The next is we can also make change by the increasing or decreasing the degree of unsaturation. Unsaturation is the presence of double bond or triple bond in the chemical structure at any side in the drug molecule. Clear. So if we are going to decrease the unsaturation means we are going to convert this double or triple bond into single bond or double bond then this will again have the effect on the activity of a drug molecule. The third change we can made is we can either introduce the new ring in our drug molecule uh, that can be either aromatic or heterocyclic or we can remove the already present ring. So why we are going to modify these changes because our main objective is to synthesize or to discover the new drug molecule that have the optimum activity or that have the different potency or that will have the good potency or good efficacy in comparison to the already reported molecule. So now let's discuss the degree of unsaturation. Degree of unsaturation is the presence of double bond in the type of chemical structure of a drug molecule. So if we are going to introduce the double bond in its chemical structure then the rigidity of the chemical structure or the rigidity of drug molecule or its derivative will be enhanced and the possibility of the formation of its E and Z isomer. And on the other end if we are going to convert the double bond into single bond that is the reduction of the double bond by which they are going to be converted into single bond then their structure will become more flexible. So now let's consider the example of the drug that is the cortisol and the second one is the prednisone. Prednisone is basically the one of the derivative of the cortisol. So in these type of drug you may observe that in the chemical structure of cortisol over here no any type of double bond is present in this A ring of its steroid nucleus only single double bond is present at this position clear and at the first and second number carbon there is no any double bond 
clear so this is the chemical structure of cortisol but if we are going to introduce the double bond at this first and second carbon it will result in the derivative that is the prednisone that prednisone derivative have the 30 time greater potency in comparison to the cortisol and this higher potency is because of introducing the new double bond or introducing the degree of unsaturation in the chemical structure of cortisol. Now the next is the introduction of the new substituent. New substituent are basically the new type of functional group or the new type of uh, rings or any type of group that are going to be substituted in our drug molecule. So the substitution can, site can be previously unsubstituted position means the position in the drug molecule at which no any type of functional group is present. So the new functional group can either be modified or substituted at this side or it can also be substituted by removing the already present functional group. Okay, so these are the different criteria of adding the new substituent. So what will be their net effect? The, the new substituent will again have the effect on its overall chemical structure, its pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic properties of the molecule. So how we are going to decide that uh, the new substitute should be present at unsubstituted position or it must have the replaced the already existing group. So this will again depend on the type of the drug molecule which we are going to synthesize because you know, we have the preliminary knowledge that uh, a substitution at this site will result in higher potency or higher efficacy compound. So on that basis we will decide that uh, at which site the substitution can be made for uh, obtaining the drug molecule with higher potency or with higher biological activity. So now let's check out the different type of functional group that can be substituted in the drug molecule. For example, we are going to substitute the alkyl group that is the methyl functional group in the chemical structure then it will have the net effect on the steric restriction means it will uh, cause the steric hindrance or restriction in the chemical structure of a newly synthesized analog. The example of that is the uh, diphenhydramine drug. Diphenhydramine that is the antihistaminic drug so the there are the different type of derivative of the diphenhydramine like uh, if we are considering its orthomethyl analog means if we are substituting the methyl group in the chemical structure of diphenhydramine at the ortho position then this derivative will have the no antihistaminic activity means we can also say that its biological activity will now be completely retarded and this effect is because of the steric hindrance or steric rotation that is caused by the carbon oxygen bond in the side chain. So this is the diagram for the diphenhydramine chemical structure. This is the diphenhydramine and this is its orthomethyl analog. In this chemical structure you may observe that at the ortho position this methyl group is present. This methyl group is causing the steric hindrance between the hydrogen atom and the lone pair of oxygen that is the carbon carbonyl oxygen. So due to this steric restriction it's ultimately pharmacokinetic dynamic properties will be affected and its entire activity will be lost. On the other end if the methyl group is substituted at the para position, para position is the this one clear so over here there is no any diagram for the paramethyl analog of diphenhydramine but you can consider that if we are going to substitute the methyl at this para position then its activity will be 3.7 times more than the diphenhydramine so this one is the orthomethyl analog and the paramethyl analog will be that one in which methyl group is present over here so if methyl group is present over here at para position then there will be no chance of steric hindrance because there is no any direct contact between the hydrogen atom of the methyl and the carbonyl oxygen 
so this newly synthesized derivative will have the 3.7 time more potency in comparison to the uh, active diphenhydramine Sometimes the introduction of the alkyl methyl group in the drug molecule can result in the reduction of the unwanted of side effects that are produced by the drug molecule. For example, let's consider the example of the parastamol. Parastamol, we know that one of the drug that is responsible for causing the hepatotoxicity reaction. Clear. So, for reducing its hepatotoxicity, parastamol is being substituted at ortho position with the methyl group and the resultant analog of parastamol have the less chances of the hepatotoxicity this is happening because of the reduction of metabolic hydroxylation at the ortho position so over here you may observe that this is the chemical structure of parastamol in this you may observe that this is the hydroxyl functional group and over here no any substitution at the ortho position clear so in in this case the parastamol have the chances of the hepatotoxicity reaction so because of the possibility of metabolic hydroxylation at this ortho site but once we are going to synthesize its analog by substituting this ortho position with the methyl group as in this chemical structure that is the ortho ortho dimethyl analog of the parastamol then the chances of metabolic hydroxylation at ortho position has been reduced and due to this its hepatotoxicity side effect can also be reduced effect of the alkyl group the alkyl group that is the methyl functional group have also the effect on the water solubility of the new synthesized derivative for example if we are going to substitute or add the methyl group it will cause increase in the lipophilicity of the compound due to increase in lipophilicity its solubility in polar solvent or water has been decreased and ultimately its partition coefficient value will be increased so there will be the higher chances of its penetration across the membranes for example the benzene that has the partition coefficient value of 83 but if we are adding the methyl group in the benzene the resultant compound will be toline toline on the other hand has the partition coefficient value of 490 clear and uh, the urea have the P value of 15 and N methyl urea that is the methyl substituted urea have the higher partition coefficient. So these are the chemical structures for the benzene. Like this one is the benzene over here you may observe no any methyl substituted. This has the P value of 83 and on the other end its methyl derivative that is toline has higher p value because of higher partition coefficient it can be easily crossed from the biological membrane effect of the methyl group or alkyl group on the metabolism rate of the drug the methyl group has the following effect like in some drug molecule the presence of methyl group can enhance the rate of metabolism how it enhances the met rate of metabolism because in such drug molecule the oxidation of methyl group facilitate the rate of metabolism reaction that is the phase one reaction in some cases it enhances the rate of metabolism by the other type of reaction that is the demethylation that is the removal of methyl group by the transfer of methyl group to an other compound or as a byproduct and in certain cases where the presence of methyl group can reduce the rate of metabolism of drug molecule in some drug molecule for example in the anti-diabetic tolbutamide the metabolism of the methyl group can lead to conversion into the drug molecule that is, has the less toxic properties or that is less toxic as compared to the parent drug because in such it is being now converted into the carboxylic acid 
This occur in the case of those drug molecule in which methyl group is being bonded with the aromatic ring or any type of cyclic ring structure. The next is the effect of nitro group. Now let's check out the effect of nitro group uh, on the aromatic ring. For example, if nitro group is substituted on the aromatic ring, then it increases the chances of toxicity. So that's why it is said that benzene is less toxic and nitrobenzene is more toxic because nitrobenzene contain the nitro functional group in addition to the aromatic ring. This is the figure. This shows the chemical structure of the nitrobenzene. It contains the nitro group. On the other hand, there is an other case that nitrophenol is said to be more toxic than the phenol. Phenol is one of the aromatic compounds in which the hydroxy is a functional group is directly bonded with the benzene ring. But nitrophenol contains additional nitro group in addition to the hydroxyl group. So that's why due, the, due to the presence of nitro functional group, nitrophenol is more toxic. However, on the other end, if the presence of other functional group in the aromatic ring like uh, in case of para nitrotoline in which is said to be less toxic than the nitrobenzene because in such case the methyl group is present uh, beside the nitro group in the benzene ring structure so due to the presence of uh, uh, methyl group its toxicity is lesser is compared to the benzene now let's check out the nitro group effect on the aliphatic compound or in the drug in which the aliphatic side chain is present the presence or substitution of nitro group in the aliphatic compound can increase the biological activity for example glycerin which we know that it is one of the inert compound it does not have any of the a potential reported therapeutic activity but if we are going to convert it into the trinitro derivative that is the trinitroglycerin then its therapeutic activity can be enhanced because now this new drug molecule can act as a vasodilator agent and that's why it is one of the most useful drug for the treatment of angina pectoris so we have observed that the effect of nitro group on the aliphatic compound is totally opposite to the aromatic compound over here we have the potential a favorable biological effect this is the chemical structure of glycerin that contain the three hydroxyl functional group when we are converting it into the trinitroglycerin that is the drug for angina pectoris these hydroxyl functional group are now being substituted with the nitro functional group like over here the chemical structure of trinitroglycerin has been given and due to this substitution of nitro group now its activity as a vasodilator agent has been improved. The next is the addition or removal of ring. Addition of removal of ring. Rings over here is representing the chemical ring, organic ring molecule, either aromatic ring or heterocyclic ring. We have already discussed that whenever rings are substituted in the chemical structure of a drug molecule, then the rigidity of a drug molecule will be increased. Beside this, the ring or the complex chemical ring in the chemical structure of drug will favor the binding of drug molecule towards its hydrophobic pocket because the aromatic ring are usually the non-polar in nature, hydrophobic in nature and they favors the binding of drug molecule towards its target. The incorporation of larger ring system may be used to produce analog that are resistance to enzyme attack. In some cases, the presence of highly complex ring or larger ring in the drug molecule may increase its resistant power against the certain type of enzyme because 
for example there are the certain drugs uh, in the penicillin class which are the penicillin sensitive why they are penicillin sensitive because they do not have the any type of additional complex ring which can produce resistance against the active site of the penicillin A. but in comparison penicillin is resistant have the additional ring due to which their resistant power has been enhanced so let's check out the chemical structure over here the chemical structure of benzyl penicillin is given in the benzyl penicillin you may observe over here only single aromatic ring is given and that's why it does not have any type of rigid chemical structure and it is sensitive towards the beta lactamase enzyme on the other hand the other derivative like diphenicillin has an additional aromatic or benzene ring and that's why its resistant power has been enhanced why because its hydrophobicity binding has been now improved same as in case of the other drug molecule like the dimethoxy phenyl antidepressant drug and the roliprom these drug has been enhanced the, the roliprom has 10 times greater potency in comparison to this antidepressant drug this is happening because of an additional ring structure this uh, additional ring has enhanced its binding towards the a pocket side of its target receptor. The next is the effect of halogen functional group. Halogen are the chlorine or fluorine functional group. If halogen are substituted in the non-conjugated position, means the which lacks the double or triple bond, then it can enhance the both useful or what we say biological or it may cause the toxic properties. On the other hand, halogen and halide and carbonyl compound will cause the decrease in toxicity of compound, means they are producing the favorable effect. Aliphatic fluorocarbon are less biologically active than the derivative that contain other halogen, means the fluorocarbon are usually more favorable or more biologically active in case of the aliphatic class. For example, the 5 fluorouracil is highly cytotoxic than the uracil. If we are comparing the uracil with the 5 fluorouracil, then we can say the uracil lacks the cytotoxic activity. But 5 fluorouracil is highly toxic to our cell, highly cytotoxic. That's why it can be used as an anti cancer drug. So over here, the chemical structure of uracil and 5-fluorouracil has been given. Over here, you may observe that 5-fluorouracil contains this additional halogen molecule that is the fluorine. And due to this substitution of the fluorine, it has the higher cytotoxic or anti-cancer activity. The effect of hydroxyl functional group. Whenever hydroxyl functional group is being substituted in any type of compound, remember the, its polarity or its solubility in polar sunlight will be enhanced because hydroxyl is one of the most well known polar functional group. So now let's compare aliphatic compound with aromatic. Whenever aliphatic compounds are being substituted with hydroxyl functional group, then their biological activity will be decreased, means the biological activity of new derivative will be lesser in comparison to the parent drug compound. On the other hand, whenever aromatic compounds are being substituted with the hydroxyl functional group, then their toxic effect uh, will be produced, means in this case, higher toxic effect will be produced due to the introduction of hydroxyl functional group. So that's why it is said that benzene is less toxic than the phenol due to the presence of one hydroxyl functional group in phenol and which is less than the catechol which has the two hydroxyl functional group. On the other hand, the benzoic acid that is antiseptic and non-toxic but the introduction of hydroxyl functional group results in the new drug molecule that is the salicylic acid which is more toxic and that has the analgesic properties because of this hydroxyl functional group in the aromatic ring structure. Effect of carboxyl functional group Whenever carboxyl functional group is introduced in the drug molecule 
then the newly synthesized derivative will have the lesser toxicity in comparison to the parent drug molecule. For example, let's consider the simplest example of the benzene that is an aromatic compound. Benzene is said to be more toxic, but benzene can be converted into its less toxic derivative by the substitution of carboxylic acid functional group in its structure. Now, the newly formed compound will be known as benzoic acid. So, it is said that benzoic acid is less toxic than benzene due to the presence of carboxylic acid functional group in their chemical structure. The next example is the example of phenol and salicylic acid. Phenol, we know that uh, is the aromatic compound in which the hydroxyl functional group is directly attached with the benzene ring. Phenol is said to be toxic in comparison to salicylic acid because salicylic acid has the carboxylic acid functional group in addition to the hydroxyl functional group on the aromatic ring. In the next example is the aniline. Aniline is said to be the billet poison. So it is highly toxic compound. But when aniline is converted into its carboxylic acid functional group derivative, then it becomes harmless. So uh, uh, these examples shows that introduction or substitution of carboxylic acid functional group in any type of drug molecule or compound results in decrease in toxicity of the parent compound. So this diagram shows the chemical structure of benzoic acid. This is the benzene ring and it is attached directly with the carboxylic acid functional group. And due to this, it is the less toxic. And this is the salicylic acid in which carboxylic acid functional group is present at this position. And due to this functional group, it is less toxic in comparison to the phenol. And this is the simplest structure of for the aniline that is the amino benzene. So when it is substituted with carboxylic acid functional group, then its billet poisoning effect will be reduced or we can say now the drug will become harmless. The other structural modification that we can make in the drug molecule is the introduction of a new group by replacing the already existing functional group. So in this way, the newly synthesized analog are made by ha having the similar type of stereochemical or metabolic changes like uh, the technique of isosteres or isosterism can be used in this way. Isosteres are basically the functional group that exhibit the similarity in their chemical and physical properties. Some of them have the equal number of proton and electron means they have the similar electronic arrangement in their chemical structure and also the steric arrangement and beside this they have the same pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic properties they have the potential to bind with the same type of receptors so in other words the replacement of the substituent means this is the technique in which the isosteres are the groups are replaced by the similar type of group having the similar arrangement of electron so ultimately this will result in the analog or derivative of a drug molecule with the same type of activity So now let's check out the effect of stereochemistry on the structural changes and activity of a drug molecule. So for example, the, the isomeric pair of different drug molecule can exist and due to the different physical properties like different partition coefficient, different ionization constant, ultimately their pharmacological activity will be different. So let's consider the example of levophenol. Levophenol is one of the phenol that will rotate the light towards the left direction. So levophenol has an analgesic pharmacological effect and narcotic and antitussive property. On the other hand, when compare the with the biological activity of its dextrophenol derivative, the dextrophenol has only antitussive properties, but it lacks the analgesic narcotic properties and this is occurring because of the different isomeric pair and it because of their different physicochemical properties the geometrical isomer of cis dihydroxyl that is one of the estrogen derivative that it has the only 7% of estrogenic activity 
in comparison to the trans diethyl estrogen so it is said the cis isomer of estrogenic uh, derivative have the less or what we say the 7% of the total activity that is being possessed by is trans diethyl derivative so now let's take out the summary of this overall lecture the, the effect of different functional group in this table shows the methyl group when methyl group is substituted uh, the effect on the lipophilic character is that it enhances the lipophilic character or the nonpolar character of our drug molecule and ultimately this will result in the decrease in water solubility and increase in lipid solubility and due to this effect it improves the absorption of a drug molecule and makes the release from the biological membrane clear so uh, next is the effect of the halogen family that is the fluorine or chlorine whenever they are being substituted they also result in enhanced in, in lipophilic or nonpolar character and decrease in water solubility why they are used they are used to, to enhance the penetration across the cell membrane because uh, as they are having the lipophilic characteristic so they uh, enhance the penetration across the biological membrane to reach the desired target tissues the hydroxyl functional group that is one of the most well known polar functional group whenever it is being substituted it will result in decrease in lipophilic or nonpolar characteristic of drug molecule and enhances the water solubility characteristic of our drug molecule so this provide the center for hydrogen bonding because this is one of the polar functional group it will form hydrogen bond with the other type of groups in the surrounding a mino group is again similar type of polar functional group this will result in decrease in lipophilic character or decrease in nonpolar character and enhance the water solubility of our drug molecule and again it is the again center for the hydrogen bonding and it has influenced uh, uh, with the uh, binding of drug towards its target site the carboxylic acid and sulfonic acid group uh, are also the um, fall under the category of polar functional group whenever they are being substituted they will decrease the lipophilic characteristic of our drug molecule and enhance the polar or water solubility so mainly these type of uh, functional group like carboxylic acid or sulfonic functional group are used for the synthesis of salt formation formulation of different type of drug to cause the ease of elimination because they are enhancing the polar characteristic in favoring the drug elimination properties now let's have a quiz so these are some basic questions from this entire lecture for your self assessment so you have to attempt these question in the comment section for your self evaluation number one question number one why the ortho methyl analog of diphenhydramine is more potent than the para methyl analog question number two why salicylic acid is less toxic than phenol question number three how ring substitution will affect the biological activity of our drug molecule Question number four: How will you modify the chemical structure of paracetamol in order to produce less hepatotoxicity? Question number five: What is the effect of unsaturation on the activity of drug molecule?